Hello, my name is Natalie Botello. And I'm Joseph Botello, and we're the owners here at Le Bouquet Saint Laurent. In this clip, we're going to be showing you how to arrange your presentation bouquet of flowers into your vase when you receive it at home. The first thing would be to remove the uh, bow from your bouquet and gently uh, remove the packaging from the flowers. Behind the bouquet, we will have always a, a, a sachet of Rose Flow or Floral Life along with an instruction care tag. Different products are available as a care. You need to get yourself a vase of water with fresh, fresh water, recut the sachets open, and then mix it into the vase. One of these sachets is good for half a liter of water, so two would be good for one liter of water. Natalie's gonna start here showing you how to separate your flowers. You would remove the tie and separate your greens and your flowers. You'll also notice that there's receptacles of water on the bottom of the stems. You'd want to have these removed as well. Just gently hold your stem and pull the tubes off. There's lots of ways to make these arranged in a vase at home. We find the best is to separate your, your, uh, your greens and your flowers and to first put in your greenery into your vase. If there's any leaves that are going to be below the water line, just gently remove them from the stems. You want to be using a good X-Acto knife, or a sharp knife, or a pair of garden shears. Would be useful. So you cut your flowers on a 45, and you insert them into the vase. Once you have enough greenery in there, you could start putting your, your flowers in. Again, you might want to adjust the heights higher or lower, but the more fillers you put in first, the easier it is to, for the flowers to hold in place. You'll need to select a vase that's appropriate for the size of the bouquet uh, if you don't want to put in two flowers into a very large, large vase. On average, the height of the uh, arrangement should be about one and a half to two times the height of the vase. So your vase is 10 inches, your bouquet should be about 20 to 25 inches tall. Uh, on average for a traditional bouquet. So over here you see she's including the, uh, the filler, filler baby's breath and the greenery and now she's going to the main flowers and you just keep snipping away. You cut the amount of 45, she's removing any greenery and inserting it into the vase. You could mix up the colors uh, as you see uh, fit. This is a mixed color bouquet and you just spread the flowers out as you see. If you do not like to receive your bouquet made into a presentation like this, you'd want to ask the florist uh, to make your flowers round, uh, which we have another clip on that you could check on our website. It's a lot quicker and easier. Basically, we arrange the flowers and all you have to do is trim everything to the height of the vase. This requires a little bit more work, but the advantage is you have a bouquet that's appropriate for presenting to someone, either a graduation or a prom. It's also just more impressive, more visually, all the flowers are seen at one point. Uh, the disadvantages, you have to do some work to uh, arrange it at home. Some people enjoy doing that uh, and that's the beauty of uh, receiving flowers. Uh, you'll have some fillers that you'll always want to add. This is lily grass and you'll add this towards the end. And she's almost done here. If you feel you have too much greenery, feel free not to put it in. But of course you'd want to make sure you include all your flowers in there. Uh, also if your vase is getting too full, you might want to keep a couple flowers for another vase and maybe put it into the, the washroom or in the entry of your home. Uh, or just keep, if you have plenty of space in the vase, just keep filling it up. And so that's basically it. We have uh, probably excessive greens here, so you might want to not use that unless you like to have a lot of greenery showing, but you want the flowers to be the, in evidence first. Also, when you receive the once finished, you want to place it away from the sun or any direct heat source. Uh, also, you'll want to top up the vase with the water on a daily basis and you could spray the flowers daily with water to keep them hydrated. On a daily basis, if you notice there's some flowers that have wilted or died, just remove them from the vase. And after five days, you'd want to remove the whole bouquet, just hold it out, pull it out, recut them. In this case, it's good to cut them with a pair of garden shears. You don't have to rearrange all your bouquet. Change the water and uh, if you have an extra sachet, you could use it. If not, just straight water for this is fine. Your flower should last five days to about 10 days. And we hope you enjoyed this uh, informative clip. And we invite you to visit our website at lubuquet.com. And you can join our mailing list uh, there as well. Thank you.